we we use the ideation on a on a small scale within pockets of the organization for some time um and then earlier this year approximately four months ago we saw an opportunity to increase the value that we're returning to help drive our kind of business agenda our, our partnership plan by embracing ideation more widely and kind of pushing it into other areas of the business that that hadn't used it previously so what we're sharing with you here is in hindsight what we now think kind of the critical success criteria for for a business-wide rollout i suppose important to stress that we 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 didn't go into it understanding or, or knowing all the things all these things that we do now but we're very much we have a organizational culture in which we're very much encouraged to to kind of test and learn to fail quickly and to iterate as we're developing a proposition so the first i'm going to quickly run through the points at the top here in terms of some of the learning kind of what we what has particularly stood out to us it's really important to have a tight scope ideation as a catch-all is really challenging so we particularly for example are interested in our ideas that improve our customer experience or improve our operational efficiency but we found that it's that the more you can the better you can define what it is that you're looking for and the contribution that you want from teams within the organization the better the, the quality of the ideation scheme is we make sure that we positively close the loop so in order to build engagement partners need to have our employees need to have kind of responses and get feedback in a timely manner and we triage that if we receive things that aren't within our scope then we try and triage those out to, to other areas of the business um we're agile in our approach so i've talked about kind of developing the proposition iteratively but the i think it's important to stress there's lots of different ways of assessing and considering value and it's really important to kind of take a holistic approach and consider the merits of, of the scheme in the round you need to get it embedded into bau so some of the resistance we faced was this is another thing we're already busy we're already we, we've already got a finite amount of resource that is kind of pulled too many different ways so you need to find a way to make this easy and to get it into kind of the everyday language and process of, of your organization 